Okay? Hindi natin alam kung sino pa yung gagamitin nila dyan. This could be a very flex, fi flex pick para sa side nila. Pero for Blue Fire dito, they got the Yujong and the Tams. They are really happy with that. Pero kasi NXP solid, nakuha nila yung Lancelot or Link para kay... Oh. Ano yun? Sinabi-sinabi ko, Lancelot ni oh, Secret. Tapos sinabi ko eh. Medyo nagulat lang ako eh. Kasi hindi usually nabibigyan ng priority na ganito kataas. Ang isang Atlas. You would see Atlas na sa 4th, 5th pick, but never on the first two picks. Mm. So, NXP Solid dito, they have something in mind. Let's see kung ano yung iniisip nila, but the bans are gonna come out right now. It's yep. going to be Blue Fire banning out still the Ling. It's, uh, they, alam mo, at this point, dahil dalawang best na nila binan, uh -oh. parang ano eh, ayaw lang talaga nila makatapat. Although so. they have a counter in terms of getting the purple buff, uh -oh. Ano mo yun, parang sinesetup mo na lang sa sarili mo na ayaw na namin makipag-deal sa isang makulit na hero. So, tanggalin yeah. na natin yung for the side of Blue Fire. This is actually good for NXP. Ang isip kasi ng NXP siguro, yung Atlas binaban ng Blue Fire on the 4th and 5th ban. So, might as well, kunin natin ngayon pa lang, tapos mag-adjust na lang tayo dun sa carry natin, mm -hmm. which is nakita naman natin na kayang-kayang magbuhat ni H2O on the Hayabusa. Expect nyo yung Blue Fire to either ban that or yung YSS which is I don't know kung mababad pa nila yung YSS because definitely whatever yung magiging last ban ng Blue Fire will be a carry ban and NXP they still want to remove a strong support mm -hmm. and I wonder what that is Oi, ex Borg ang binan ng Blue Fire okay interesting so, yung Very combination interesting. lang din combination yung, lang din yung, yung last insanity tapos fatal links, fatal links yeah. napakalaking ano napakalaking bagay nun and uh, with two strong side laners on to the side of Blue Fire ang ginawa nila dito, tinanggal na nila yung digi just for safety. Uh -huh. Kasi yun yung isa mga makings ng mga gandang digi setup eh. Yeah, panggulo lang. Panggulo, sobra, eh, no? panggulo ka lang and, and yung side syempre, legs mo malakas. And no more, ano, kahit ma fatal links kayo, wala kayong tagaligtas. Wala kayong mm. time journey na pagbukas. No, that is true, diba? that is true. So, good, good thing na yun for NXP. And now, again, wala na silang way para ma-block yung magiging mm. carry pick ni... H2O dito, he has ang dami niyang options. Either, pwede siya mag uh, YSS, pwede siya mag uh, Hayabusa, mm -hmm. pero Valir is still a really big possibility uh, here. Alam mo sa totoo lang, sa nakikita ko ngayon, inaantay na lang netong NXP Solid yung ipipick pang-apat netong Blue Fire. Mm -hmm. Kasi if this is a mage, para ramdam ko pwede sila mag Hellcurt dito eh. Oh, that's true. They can go for a reason siya na Hellcurt. Hindi pa tayo tapos sa side laner natin. Uh, kumbaga, in terms of vision game, in terms of vision game, Rockheart ha, Meron kang uh, meron kang Chang O, meron kang YSS, tapos meron kang Hellcurt. Pwedeng pwedeng maging trend 'yon for them. So, isip mo YSS ano, YSS Hellcurt. Pwede. Sounds like uh, it, it could be. Pero kasi tingnan natin dito kung ano yung adjustment na gagawin nila. And they actually Ay, go yeah, for another high boost. YSS, Ayaw na nila mag YSS. Oh. Okay. Okay. Mas ano to? Mas stable actually. I like it. Hindi sila kasing explosive nung mga usual na pinipili na NXP Solid. Kasi you would actually think that NXP Solid would go for that YSS. Tapos, uh, yung ano, yung uh, Hellcurt. But now, nakikita mo yung ano, adjustment na ginagawa nila. There is a bit of a change in terms of drafting na hindi mo na lang makukuha yun dahil gusto mo. Tama, tama. It's more on the idea na bigay natin to kasi ito yung mga usual at yung mga successful heroes ngayon. Yeah, I like it, I like it. AOE damage para... Mm -hmm. Sa NXP Solid, the big guombo combo Fatal mm -hmm. Links into Meteor Shower plus, syempre, Alice all around. Looking good Ayabus. for NXP and going to be the last pick here is the Baksha. Interesting. Kasi mm -hmm. hindi ko masyadong... I guess, just for the Alice, gusto kong huntingin ng Baksha magdamag si Alice. Mm -hmm. Just in... I don't know if that, that makes sense for me, pero Blue Fire's gonna go for it and they look like they're happy with their picks. Tignan natin kung gagana dito. I'm actually waiting for uh, yung kanilang mga spells dito. I think Purify or Flicker. Maximum Purify dito para kay Blue Fire. Yung mga for both teams. Uh, I think uh, ito talaga yung sa mga literal na bagay na kailangan nila abangan. I got it right now. Tignan natin kung ano kinuha nila. Hindi pa pala talaga. Hindi pa pala ito yun. <laughs> okay, ito, ito, ito. Sige lang, okay. sige lang. Yan ah. And uh, puro sila... Puro sila flicker. Yeah, lots Puro of sila flickers. Flicker. Lots of flickers. And... Ayaw nila tatlong flicker. Meron well, wala kays... man lang isang naka-purify. Ah? Meron kay... Uh... Alam mo yun, kasi yung purify, it's... It doesn't really solve
solve the problem. Eh. Nandun ka pa rin kayo sa vicinity. Mahuhulit, mahuhulit ka din. Mahuhulit ka pa rin. Oh. So, ibig sabihin, meron si uh, Yu Zhong na flicker dito. Si Cripsu, uh, meron din. At si Lins. Let's go! Into this game! Game 2! NXP Solid versus Blue Fire. Mal close out na kaya ng NXP to. And I think it's a good possibility considering right now, they look like they have a pretty comfortable pick still. But I still kind of miss the YSS here. But let's see if H2 can make the Hayabusa work. Round two, two times a charm, close it out. Mhm. Mm and uh, looking at it, eto ah, may malaking emphasis dito into getting the level four para sa mga supports. NXP solid kailangan nila ibigay agad kay Chang o yung meteor shower nila, cause they know that they need that certain buff para dito. Uh, kaya they need that certain uh, skill pala para kay uh, Chang'o. But looking at it, tignan mo sila H2O dito kung ginawa nila. They went straight for that orange buff sa my side ng kalaban. Uy! Chester, grabe naman. Galit na galit. Laban agad. And Kripsu, very very low. Lives in front as well. Looks like Bluefire is now going to be the ones on the driver's seat mm -hmm. with the first blood on H2O. And that is going to be the first blood. And titignan mo dito, the thing na nangyari dito for the side of Bluefire, they went straight for that purple buff and they go for another punish blue fire dito getting two kills wow and man oh man that is going to be big kills onto the side of nxp solid that was a delay on h2o yeah and laking bagay nung delay din as well as the buffs i'm not sure if h2o still has any buffs in that one because na clear out siya so it's gonna be a long early game here for nxp oh mb getting the shorter end of the stick the on sa engagement na yon and that is going to be another pick off for the side of blue fire ito yung sinasabi natin merong glimmer of hope mm -hmm. for the side of blue fire May kasi acid. nakukuha nila oh. yung rotation nila sa early game hindi lang nila napapanghawakan yun against sa side ng NXP solid and i think dun lumalakas dun dun uh, tawag dun dun nagpapakita ng gilas yung NXP yung after nitong early game nito even though ma behind kami paano ba kami makabawi mm -hmm. di ba so, abangan nyo yun mga kaibigan and NXP looks like gusto nilang i-offset yung weaknesses ni Hayabusa by grouping up together sa mid lane. So, magtitrio muna kami, ikot muna kami, hindi muna pwede yung solo-solo. Okay. So, ako naniniwala nga ako, Rocker, kailangan mag-ingat ni Crypso dito eh. There were a lot of kills given kay H2O dahil nahuhuli niya si Crypso kanina. So, feeling ko medyo kailangan, ano, kailangan ma-iwan dito or, uh, Mag-isip dito si Cripsu kung paano niya ipapwesta yung sarili niya. Because earlier, talaga nauhuli siya na siya lang yung mismong target ng shadow kill. Mm -hmm. And Cripsu is going to be, I think this time around, a bit safer. Kasi Fuzaken's gonna be, nakita niyo nangyayari kanina eh, di ba? Mm -hmm. So Fuzaken's going to be more alert and blocking out para kay Cripsu. And yung value talaga, it makes... It's very difficult to deal with. Mm -hmm. Like, kita mo naman, even NXP, nagkakagamit lang ng Valir. They're having a hard time dealing with Crips, although right now, hindi sila nag-amaasi masyado. Mm, that is actually a good observation from Rockheart. Still, there is this thing about Blue Fire na ito din yung ginawa nila kanya. They still go for it, and the retributions are thrown out. The question is, Kayawi yung, Kayawi actually napunta yung buff. Oh. Kayawi na punta yung buff. So, ibig sabihin, uh, pinersa nila si H2, they gumamit ng retribution. Oh. They got something out of it. But still, kayawi na punta eh. You would actually prefer na mapunta yun kay H2. Oh. Pero a kill on the top lane dito kay MB. And another kill on to the middle lane doon sa may side brush netong mid lane na to. They actually get Two kills at that point, at different points of the map. Limbs dito nagiging aggressive na. I think Blue Fire is being confident sa lahat ng ginagawa nila. Sa ngayon, di ba? I think alam nilang kaya naman natin mag-survive and wala masyadong threat kay H2O kasi right now, he's only level 6 with Creep Chu already at level 8. Creep Chu? Creep Chu. Creep Chu. Ah, oh, well, Creep that could be actually a uh, combination. Pero mapipilitan si Yawi dito <laughs> gamitin niya Flicker. And uh, that is still going to be a thing na kailangan bantayan. And there is going to be a pause. Saan kaya nanggagaling yung apoy ng blue fire na ganito? No? Kasi sa balir. Sa balir. Mm. Talaga. No? Tsaka kay Limbs. Oo oh, naman. Yung, yung, so, yung side lane ni Limbs, it's actually surprising that he's winning on that lane considering katapat niya. 
is medyo solid din na side laner. Mm, what you really have to look out for kasi dito kay Alice is yung flowing blood. After the flowing blood, I don't really think that he can out damage etong isang uh, thumbs. Kasi yung oh. thumbs, innately, kaya niya din mag-region para sa sarili niya eh. So, looking at, it, siya, looking at it, dapat nananalo talaga dito si Limbs. And this is good for Limbs. Kasi kahit pa paano, week 1 to week 4, hindi niya makuha yung confidence niya, hindi niya mapakita yung lakas niya talaga dito. But right now, at least he's given, uh, alam mo yun, breathing room, kumbaga, para makapag- uh, mga pag-setup kahit pa paano. Pero kasi, ang kailangan bantay nito for NXP Solid is nag scale kasi sila. Yun, yun. I think, especially, even if lumamang si Secret, I said choose sa early game, kayang mahabol. I think we've seen H2O na, paulit-ulit na nakabawi siya from big mm-hmm. deficits. That, that's just the nature of H2O, no? Mm-hmm. Nature na niya na makabawi in, eventually as long as the game can progress pero, into the late game. Uh, Pero kasi kailangan din, hindi din bigyan ng Blue Fire na pagkakataon makabawi sa H2O. Kasi nakita nila yung game number one, yung Chang-O, tinarget ng tinarget, hindi makalaban si Chang-O. And that led to them actually giving back the ball. Or napasa nila uli yung bola dito sa side ng NXP Solid. So, now, hinahanap ni H2O yung opening na yun. I'm sure hinahanap niya yun sa side niya. He's trying to get it from uh, from Crypt. Kasi alam natin si Crypt talaga dito, yung pinakamagandang target for him. So right now, they're looking at it. Nag, nag-iisip na sila kung paano nga ba natin lulutsutan to. For you, if if gusto dito ng NXP Solid makabawi dito sa deficit na binigay sa kanila ng Bluefire, how do you deal with this? Para makabawi sa deficit nila right now, I think you just need to spam the ano. Spam the wave clear, no? Mm-hmm. I think I think the wave clear is so important, and he need, you will have to concede some objectives. At this point, he did. Pag pinoyer sa nila lumaban, they will definitely lose. Like what's happening right now? Oh, Chester Don getting two on that ultimate fatal links. Ang ganda sana pero there was no follow up. Wala si Reni J Don, and that is going to be a pick off onto the side of Blue Fire. Eto lang yung pinaka nagiging story niya dito. Blue Fire umiikot, NXP na uhule. Yep. Over and over again, they just need to avoid fighting and they need to get H2O. Kailangan nila ma-focus yung farm ni H2O right now. Pati si Secret lamang nasa kanya sa level. Mm-hmm. Turtle, kinukuha dito. Look at Secret. He's actually trying to zone out etong mga tao dito. And this is bad for the side of NXP Solid. Kapag kayo mga side laners pinuntahan ng carry at sila yung nabubuli, even if it's a 2v1, mm-hmm. medyo doon na nagkakaroon ng uh, clear lead. Kasi kung titignan mo dito ngayon, in terms of gold, 6k ang kalamangan dito ng Blue Fire. 6k gold at 5 and a half minutes. Napakabilis nun. That is scary. Especially if right now we chew on that turtle buff. Naku po, napakahapde in itong Lance. Level 11, kaya-kaya nang mag-takedown ng mga low-level mm. targets. Especially level 6 ng Siawi ngayon. That is... Not good for NXP. Chester dito pulling the trigger on that ultimate. And that is going to be the opening na hinahanap dito ng Blue Fire. This might be a push going to their side. And probably another objective na minamata nila sa baba. Kasi nung nakita nila ginamit yung Fatal Link, sabi it's go time. Snap na. Oras na, oras na. Laban, laban. Wala na ulti. Mm-hmm. You know what's super surprising dito? Is sinasadya ba nila mag-swap role ngayon si Yawi tsaka si Chester? No? Bit? Possible. Kasi kung, na, kung, napapan, kung nakikita mo kung paano mag-tank dito yung uh, two players, I think this is the certain adjustment na binigay sa kanila ng team. Interesting. Kung baga, Yawi, ikaw mag ano, Yawi, ikaw mag-support. Ikaw mag chang o ikaw gumamit nito lahat. Chester yung magiging initiator natin. Sige natin kung ano Pinapakita ni Chester na versatile siya. Pero look at this ultimate. Ito na ata ang hinahanap na laban mga kaibigan ng Blue Fire. Pero look at this. The damage just way too low to the side of NXP Solid. Hindi nila kinakaya. Chew dito, tinusok-tusok si MB. Tusok-tusok. Naku po. Ito na yung puncture-puncture. <laughs> okay, so. Kamusta naman si Chu? I think maximum na yung ultimate niya. Phantom Execute will hurt even mm-hmm. more. Ang gagiging problema dito is how do you take this down? How do you chase this? And let's see. Uh, look at the Gillette instant replay. Soon. Yung frontline ng Blue Fire this time mas solid compared to last game. Mm-hmm. And uh, looking at this replay, nakita mo doon na talagang naisip na nila na gusto nila kunin yung laban na yun kasi ang ganda ng Fatal Links eh. But the thing is, yung combo mo wala. Yung combo mo wala doon. It could have been Rene J at that point on dealing damage. 
At si Crypto dito nakuha na yung kanyang Duran. Yep, hindi ba natin nakita yung wombo combo ng NXP? Yung ano, yung ulti, yung Fatal Links into uh, into Yawi into Renny J, wala pang ganun kasi hindi pa sila confident and nakakatakot yung at assassination capabilities nitong si Chu sa Lancelot. Mm -hmm. So hindi sila maka-setup na maayos. So now yung mapa nandito na side ng and uh, nasa side ng Blue Fire. NXP solid dito, they're trying to regain it back pero kasi talaga naka-setup na dito yung Blue Fire na sila na ang magbamando nitong laro. Chester nahuli siya sa isang masamang lugar and that is going to be an overextend. But look at this, H2O hindi niya alam kung saan siya magde-def. Ang daming nangyayari sa mapa dito. Looking at it, Renny J, hindi pa siya nakakasali sa isang laban dito. Hindi pa talaga kasi hindi din siya makas makapasok ng solid. I don't think kompleto pa yung winter truncheon niya. And even if mag-winter truncheon ka sa gitna ng kalaban mo, what if you're not doing enough damage? Mm -hmm. Hindi ka din makakasurvive. Yun yung siguro iniisip niya kaya hindi siya makapasok talaga. Hirap na ang NXP mga kaibigan with an 11k gold lead. May, may requirement kasi na kailangan si Alice dito para makapasok siya. Kailangan makita niya muna na natulak na ni Kripsu. Oo, kasi sayang lang Oo. yung pasok niya kung Naka, ganun. Pagka, na, pagka nag-flowing blood siya, umabot siya dun sa mga tao at natulak siya ni Kripsu. Wala din. There is a chance na baka mawala yung buong ultimate niya at hindi maging komportable na yung buong team niya na lumaban just because nawala yung ultimate niya na yun. Kaya yeah, hindi din siya maka-lifesteal kasi tinulak siya out of place. Wala, mm -hmm. wala siya ng position. And Chester dito, siya na naman na napakusahan. That was a very good ultimate coming out from him pero hindi talaga mabakapan. Fuzakin dito actually getting a lot of those Slashes sa shadow kill pero it's not really enough. Hindi talaga tumatama or hindi tumutugma yung damage output dito no, ng NXP Solid sa kailangan nila. I think sobrang kulang ng overall magic damage nila from Rene J and Yawi. And so, the, kung may papanalong mm -hmm. game ang Blue Fire ngayong season na to ulit, ito na siguro yun. And this could be the stop sa drought na nangyayari sa side ng Blue Fire. They're actually going for the Lord. H2O nandun sa may vicinity. They actually locate him. And this is going to be the Lord going to the side of Blue Fire. Tignan natin kung paano gagalaw dito yung side ng NXP Solid. How Fuzaken, will they deal with this? Fuzaken dito, humaharap niya sa lahat. And 1-0-8. Wala pang napapatay dito yung side ng NXP Solid. Zero kills so far. At 10 minutes, 13,000 na ang lamang ng Blue Fire. At naglalakad na ang Lord sa top lane, mga kaibigan. Ito na ba yun? Well, ang tanong ha, Blue Fire ha, kaya ba nilang maklose out to? Kasi yun din isa sa mga weakness ng Blue Fire nakit natin. Mula pa nung unang mm -hmm. ligong. This could go to a game number 3. Right now, tinitignan natin yung stats, Rockheart. Tinitignan natin yung game, yung pacing. It's safe to say. It's probably safe to say that pwedeng pumunta to sa game number 3 kasi yung lead 15k yung towers 6 to 0 yung hmm. lord 0 to 1 malaking bagay yun malaking bagay yun tignan natin ha here we go again for the siege top lane lord ito na ba ang laban na hinahanap ng blue fire mm -hmm. camera let's go camera let's go pero <laughs> nandito, nandito si chester sa may gitna natulak siya pa balik they go and chester dito pinarusahan na naman Chu on the back lines na, na take down na nila dito yung atlas and they don't want more they go straight for the next turret dito sa may gitna is this the way na hinahanap nila Renny J dito pumasok ng uh, blood o but still that is not going to be enough h will go down Chu dito going ham phantom execution tignan natin mga kaibigan Renny J dito pinipilit niya lang kontrolin yung side dito ng blue fire but Renny J can't really do anything kasi hindi pa siya nag scale not scaled enough Minion wang, minion wave and lang, this. minion wave, minion wave! Walang minions and they will be able to defend. At least for now, Yawi left alone, Chester. 2v5, mga kaibigan. This might be it, ladies and gentlemen. Walang minions dito. Nagagawa na NXP Solid na i-delay yung mga bagay-bagay dito for the side of Blue Fire. Pero they cannot go for another pick-up dito. Ito If they ba? do, magkakaroon sila ng problema. Yawi dito, doing minions. a great job. Pero hindi yata kakayanin. Blue Fire, Blue Fire. wins! Game number two, and the drought for that win is Wait, over sila, for the side of Blue Fire. Finals na! <laughs> and look at the dance coming out from Fuza. Dito, the point is to not really be overconfident. And for NXP Solid, mag-chill lang sila. Kasi isang game lang yun at hindi series. Yep. Pwede pa nila baligtarin yung mga pangyayari dito. And I think that is a big possibility going into Game 3, mga kaibigan. NXP Solid versus Blue Fire. Ito naman. Ang mangyayari naman dito ngayon is H2O... Yaoi is back on the tank. 
and Chester on the channel. So we are back to normal, back to basics, ika nga nila. Mm -hmm. Para sa NXP Solid. And uh, look at this, hindi masyado magbibigay kahit pa paano dito ng opening yung NXP Solid. Yun yung maganda sa dalawang ano nila dito. Sa dalawang tank nila dito, yung tank support setup nila. At least kasi sila yung may kapangyarihan mag-go for the invade. Pero ang sabi naman dito ng Blue Park, alam na namin mag invade kayo eh. So, oh. imi-mirror na lang namin yan. Pupuntahan namin yung kabilang side. Trade na lang. Kasi, hindi pwede. Lintik lang walang ganti, di ba? Oo, oh, pero oh. Uh, tama naman. <laughs> tama naman. Okay, so, nakita natin yung mirror na ginawa nila. I think this is a good job for both teams to actually, uh, paano ko ba sabihin to? Set up bago yung kalaban nila. Kasi naging preemptive dito yung NXP Solid eh. Sabi nila, mag invade tayo. Unahan natin sila mag-clear. Mas malakas tayo mag-clear. Pabilisan. Grab, grab tsaka tsang. Oh, napakabilis mag-clear. Pabilisan yan. Ang gagawin nila, pubo na sila agad doon. Nung nakita, nung, nung nakita ng Blue Fire na, ah, nandun na sila sa mali, natin. Ah. Huwag oh. na natin ipilit, nakapwesto Let's na sila. Go. Doon na tayo sa may kabila. Hindi na naman yep. nila kaya iprotektahan din yun kasi tatlong tao na yun nasa other side. Yeah, it's a normal way to deal with, mm -hmm. the, uh, to deal with the invade. You know what? Do an invade of your own. And I think that's very smart here coming from both of these teams. You can really tell that they're trying to go back to basics. Mm -hmm. Hindi eh. yung mga, mga flashy plays, hindi na yung mga old school na gulatan. Ito, talagang palitan na lang ng suntok ng nangyayari. Mm -hmm. diba? it's, just, it's a very good thing. For both of these teams, they are going to back to the usual. So walang, wala pa mangyayari dito na kababalaghan sa ngayon. Pero expect that to, ha to change later on. Especially considering na mas, ang gusto ko dito nangyayari sa NXP, they're back to their comfort role. Mm -hmm. Ang laki ng difference from Yawi as a support, from Yawi as a tank. Eh, no? Gumana na naman siya ng game Gumana number siya ng one. Gumana eh. siya ng game one, pero ito, iba, yung, iba, iba yung pairamdam eh. Pag pinapanood mo siya. Oo, di ba? Medyo sabihin na lang natin, hindi siya usual na nakikita mo. And that's actually correct. I do agree with you on that, Rockheart. Pero kasi, ang thing is, para sa akin, gumana kasi ng game number one. Kaya pinili talaga so, nila akong game. So you, so, pe, alam mo yung may part sa akin na nagkasabi na, baka hindi mo talaga pwedeng sabihin na, dahil doon sa setup o sa pagpalit nila ng role, kaya medyo naging rough yung game number two. I think it's because of the things or the heroes din na napili nila. Kasi nag-pop off si Limbs eh. Yun yung nakuha ni Limbs. Nakuha ni Limbs yung pag-pop off niya. Si Chu has been very consistent din naman. Ang ganda ng performance niya ng game number one. Nakuha niya yung dapat lahat nakawin. Yeah, nung, at H2O. least nung una. Diba? Pero I think, accident ba? ni Chu may isang oh. questionable para sa akin eh. Mm -hmm. Pero ang the thing is, tama nga, I think the picks is important. Mm -hmm. uh, si Limbs yung hindi natin napapansin lagi. Difference maker para sa Blue Fire. No? I mean, sa totoo lang, gusto din Pansin natin mo? pansinin si Limbs. Oh, oh. Kaso kasi, if you're not really performing that well, ang hirap. Way, ang hirap mo din <laughs> bigyan ng spotlight. I see what you mean. Diba? Okay, oh, so, oh. So we try to be we try to look at each player as much as possible. Pero if that player isn't really doing that well at that time on. Mm -hmm. Alam mo yun, parang hirap din bigyan ng emphasis. Hirap i hype, oh, diba? oh, Ang hirap oh, i eh. Pero this is a good move coming out from Blue Fire, uh, from NXP Solid kasi na-realize nila na nakuha na talaga dito nung side nung uh, Blue Fire etong buff nila sa may gilid and kung nakapansin mo, mas mabilis pa nga nilang nakuha na take yung buff na yon Just because this is still a Lancelot. Yeah, positioning and yung bilis yung mag-rotate with the puncture. It's something mm -hmm. that you cannot really take away from a Lancelot. So we are back here on a bit of an equilibrium sa unang minuto ng game. Mm -hmm. Secret, kamusta kaya mag, ano, mag basketball to? Ewan kaya kaya mag-ballin nito mamaya. <laughs> Si Anna Secret Ball de Ball. Eh, pwede Ball naman. Ball pwede pwede kaya? naman. Ako, Kasi hindi ko pa siya masyadong nandito dito sa Ako naman, tatandaan mo, bilog ang bola. Totoo naman. Bilog ang bola. Matagal na natin sinasabi yan. And kung papansinin mo kasi dito, kung bakit isa sa mga magagandang uh, picks dito ang Balmond. Siyempre, the Khaled is there. Pero kasi, isa pang factor is napaka-sustainable ng isang Balmond sa lane. Yeah, Pero, they still want to keep going there. And the sustain is difficult to achieve, especially... Yung sustain na sa passive ni Balmond is from kills. Mm -hmm. So, Secret needs to try to focus on getting those kills if he wants to really pop off as a Balmond. I think nakita natin yun with a few games last week. Mm -hmm. Balmond's really carried games hard. And I think this could be a... Man, this could be a pretty similar experience for Secret as long as makipakain yung makipagsabayan sa tempo sa bilis ng laro ni Lachu at ni Lilims. Mm -hmm. Pero ito ah, napapansin mo dito yung pwestuhan ng mga teams. 
kung paano nila iset up yung sarili nila dun sa mga gubat ng isa't isa. Ngayon, gray dito yung mga circles yep. ng mga buffs. So that means 15 seconds na lang. mag na sila. And that uh-huh. is the thing about these buffs. Kapag ka nakita nyo na yan, it's about time for these teams to actually set themselves up na maprotektahan nila yung mga buff nila or doon sila para protekta sa doon nila kukunin yung buff nila yep. at aayusin nila or pupunta sila sa invade pwestuhan pwestuhan at sa pwestuhan naman feeling ko na una ngayon ang NXP nasa kitna sila ng lahat halos and they are making sure na hindi na pwest ang blue fire to take those buffs mm-hmm. Pero si Rena J dito going for limb Si Yawi naman dito lumaban There's the Kotoran Inferno And here comes H2O with the help They will get the first blood NXP solid dito Solid rotation from Yawi and H2O Yep, Tempest of Blades right there Actually just for the assist He'll be able to at least push back the blue fire To make sure na hindi sila maka-invade Yung secret yata na <laughs> natulak palabas ng bush will still actually be able to survive though. Wala pang solid na damage output ang NXP for now. Pero right now, ginagawa nila, pwestuhan on the Lord Crave. So ang nahulin na naman. Napilitan siya mag-flicker doon. If he was gonna use the flicker, in a way, mas maganda sana kung nagamit niya na mas maaga because that, at that point on, parang nag-soak up Wala na ng damage. Eh. Eh. Naka- kaya, na, kaya ka na mahabol eh. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 keep in mind lang guys kung bakit ko sinabi yun is because meron tayong link. Na ang link kasi kapag nakita niya na mababa yung buhay mo at those points of the mabilis game, yan. Mabilis, yan. mabilis yan pumunta sa area mo. So you really need to look out for your HP bar dito. Kasi once na makita ni H2O na mababa yan, more or less, ladies and gentlemen, tatalo na tatalo niyan. Yep. Alam na alam mo yan, Matic. Ang dami mo na na-experience for sure ng link na tumatalo na lang sa mukha mo. Oh, walang gumagamit. Wala sa malayo, eh. di ba? Oh, yung dalawang, yung dalawang, uh, <laughs> yung dalawang carry ng Zen Esports, wala, yung Chainbot, eh, tsaka yung Marksman, tsaka Selina lang. Marksman, Selina lang. <laughs> yung link, ang ta- na, nagmamakaawa na ako, aralin nyo naman. Oo, oh, wala ba? Wala aralin ba tayo dyan? Wala. Wala talaga. Ayaw Feeling talaga. Ko, offlane link na gagawin Ayaw natin. Talaga. Eh. As long, sabi ni Shinbo, as long as daw as walang pana si Link, hindi niya daw kukunin. Tama, tama. Kailangan, ang requirement may pana. <laughs> So, mahirap, mahirap pilitin ni Shinbu na mag, ano, na mag link. Pero okay lang yan. Kaya, kaya yung tropa yan eh, di ba? Kaya natin yan. Kaya, mm-hmm. kaya buhati ni Butters yan. Pero alam mo, H2, ala, ikaw, <laughs> ikaw yung, ano, ikaw yung nagbubuhat. Ano sinasabi mo? H2 dito, yung start niya for a link versus Lancelot matchup is uh, above average. Mm-hmm. Kung isipin mo, talagang ano eh, literal na magandang setup para sa kanya. Kung na napapansin yun, mo yung mga dating link na match, yung mga dating link na match, yung execration versus blacklist, kung naalala mo yon yung Old literal school. na nakuha nila yung link, pero pini, uh, nagkaroon, ng, uh, nagkaroon ng differences or nagkaroon ng uh, pressure dito for H2O, na, uh, for, uh, as you know, si Hate, Hate, na mawalan siya na mawalan ng purple buff. But the thing is, Fuza can here, hindi niya masasalba yung kanyang teammate, yes. and limbs will go down. Yung kanyang uh, game number two, game number three. Ganong kalala. <laughs> 0-3 na siya dito. Uh-oh. So, pagkakang lala and BNK, Blue Fire, they are losing out on a lot of tempo, forcing yung flicker din pa atras. Kaya mo bang matakbuhan si Galid na rumaragas. Ano? Rumaragasa. 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 Alam ko medyo mahirap, mahirap <laughs> ang Tagalog. Uh-oh. Okay. Pasensya. <laughs> Oo, ganun talaga. Okay lang yan. It's life. It's life indeed. But, pero alam mo, ito ah, yawi dito, You can see the difference. Ang laki ng pagkakaiba. Ang, ang laki ng pagkakaiba in terms of confidence dito. And I feel na yung girl kasi ngayon hindi na siya masyado tinitignan. Pero kasi pagka-capable yung mga taong humahawak to make the most out of this game. Eh, I think natang- sa akin, for me, natanggap niya yata ng Blue Fire na <laughs> this is it. Eh. So, oh, okay. Well, ako, ang gusto ko lang sabihin, hanggat hindi natutumba yung base, may pag-asa. May pag-asa. So, 1% chance man yan. 1%, per- per- 1% yan. chance is still 1%. Still 1, di ba? It's, uh, alam mo yun, kung baga kailangan lang nila ilaban dito, dapat na ilaban. ilaban lang nila. Maximum. Oo. Ewan ko lang. So, 40 seconds, still the Lord is up. I think NXP Solid, yun na lang yung pinakainaantay nila dito. Yep. Winter Transition on Cripsu, that is good para hindi siya matalunan dito or... Uh, na matalunan ni H2O or mabatuhan ng meteor shower ni Chester. Mm-hmm. So, things are looking uh, things are looking grim for the side of Blue Fire pero alam mo yon through items, nagagawa na nila paraan yung mga bagay-bagay. But still, it's pretty clear, ladies and gentlemen, na NXP solid dito 
can get that win at hindi na nga kinailangan ng winter transition kasi tumba pa rin siya in a few strikes ng isang ling dito. And a few strikes is all that Ling needs right now. Rene J, gandang sipa, pero nakatakas pa rin si Chu. Dun, sa gitna. Now it's going to be the Lord take, I think, 9-0 so far. Magbibigay yan ng kilang NX. Kila mo dito, si Baldibolin. Si Baldibolin nandun sa may gilid! Oh! Way too late. Kala ko, ano lang, hanggang rebound lang pala. Kala ko, kala ko kaya nang dumakdak eh. Hindi kaya dumakdak. Lumibound lang pala. Pero ito, Fuzaken dito. Trying to go for that hurricane dance. Hindi niya mauhuli yan as long as hindi sila yung nasa pwesto. Hindi kaya. Walang nullified yung Akai pick dito sa game na to. Dapat yata hindi na pinake ni Fuza kanya yan. Kasi there's just no way he's gonna catch anyone. Except if si MB lang ang kaya mahuli and MB doesn't care. Like, I don't know, man. So nakikita mo dito sila Yawi as in literal ang ginagawa ni Yawi buong magdamag may mind games nga na tong kalaban nila Only mind games Only mind games Only emotes Yeah Only Only talaga eh I think that's it Hero action Good luck Good luck kay Shin mo mag-analyze dito mamaya So this is going to be a big win for the side of NXP Solid Katulad nga ng sinabi natin Confidence game etong series na to So This time around, they get a kill on Fuzaken. Secret dito. 0-13. Road to 0-14 na naman. Pwede nilang ibalik yung favor. Kung kanina 0-14 sila, hindi ko lang talaga binanggit. Right now, they can actually return the favor. And it...